In the aftermath of September 11th, as Americans pondered the nation's future, a man in Napa decided to find out for himself just how much the terrorist attacks had changed our lives. He chose a unique way to do it, traveling the country in a bus called the Freedom Bus. Tonight, we share in his unique experience. Vic Lee has a story you will see only on 4. I mean, that's a little memento of your trip. Yeah, we collected all these bugs going across uh, back and forth, so I'm going to leave it up there until, <laughs> until we catch Osama. Last October, Jack Yuen left his home in Napa and drove across America in this old school bus, which he painted red, white, and blue. It was right after September 11th, and I wanted to see what people were thinking and saying uh, and feeling about the attacks. He took his 76-year-old father, George, another friend, Mike another Struthers, and a home video camera. At each stop on the two-week trip, they encountered Americans from all walks of life, and they recorded their conversations. Going this trip, we kept on asking these questions. What does freedom mean to you? What does freedom mean to you? Freedom means to me the choice to make your own um, statements choice not to interfere or hurt cause harm to anybody else. Freedom is worth any sacrifice we have to do to keep it. The, the three made it a point to stop at historic sites. The, the Grand Canyon, Dallas, where and President John F. Kennedy was shot. The X right there indicates where the, the, the shot that killed the president happened right there. Memphis, the motel where Martin Luther King was killed, and Elvis even president. the Elvis Memorial. The Chinese, they call him Iwong, the big king. This was a first cross-country trip for both Jack and his father, George, who immigrated from China 53 years ago. He came to the U.S. because he wanted his freedom. In China, it's a no freedom. And in, uh, in the United States, a freedom. You do anything you want to do. Right? You say anything you want to say. Right? That's the freedom. September 11th, Jack Yuen found had changed lives, some dramatically. I think it's terrible. I, you're scared to go anywhere every time you see a plane, you want to look up and see if it's going to fall, or... It's terrible. My family, unfortunately, now we have a plan. Should anything happen, uh, uh, we have a plan. We have a base camp where we're going to meet, no matter what happens. Most people were, I found, very patriotic and much behind what was going on in the United States, or, or the U.S. response. These terrorists, that's what they're trying to do, is make everybody run and hide. I'm not going to hide. But I'm anti-war, but I'm, I'm also 100% self-defense. Oh, there it is right there. That's the Pentagon. Oh, my God. The most disturbing image of the entire trip for Jack Yuen was when he saw the huge gaping hole in the Pentagon as he passed it on the highway. Okay, and I thought to myself how exposed our nation is. And then I, I, I started thinking about Packville Park and I started thinking about all these, all these places. And it's so easy in the United States to, to cause trouble. New Yorkers, there is no... <laughs> Once in New York, they saw ground zero. Moved with emotion, Jack stopped a police officer. Well, I just said, thank you. And I was kind of cheering up a little bit because, you know, these people really do uh, put their behinds on the line. Finally, what was the most important thing to Americans? Uh, the most important thing is future for my family. My family. I would say family. I have a daughter and she's a daughter. Yes, I think family. I think my kids and my wife and my family is, is really my passion because if I didn't have that, I wouldn't really have anything to get up and go to work for. In the Freedom Bus. Freedom. Freedom. Vic Lee, Ron for News. And if you would like to see the entire documentary, it's going to be shown on July 20th at the Wine Country Film Festival. That's at the Domain Shandong Winery in Marin. And you can get more information on our website, cron4.com. That would be good to see. A thank you to American servicemen from the Korean Consul General.